Where the Forest Meets the Sea by Jeannie Baker. My father knows a place we can only reach by boat. Not many people go there and you have to know your way through the reef. When we arrive, cockatoos rise from the forest in a squawking cloud. My father says there has been a forest here for over a hundred million years. My father says there used to be crocodiles here and kangaroos that lived in trees. Maybe there still are. I follow a creek into a rainforest. I pretend it is a hundred million years ago. On the bank of the creek, the vines and creepers try to hold me back. I push through. Now the forest is easy to walk in. I sit very still and watch and listen. I wonder how long it takes the trees to grow to the top of the forest. I find an ancient tree. It's hollow. Perhaps Aboriginal forest children played here too. I climb inside the tree. It's dark, but the twisted roots make windows. This is a good place to hide. It is time to go and find my father. I think I hear the sea. I walk towards the sound. My father has made a fire and is cooking the fish he caught. I like fish cooked this way, but then I feel sad because the day has gone so quickly. My father says we'll come here again someday. But will the forest still be here when we come back? This is where the Daintree Rainforest is. The place, the people and the precedent are real. The forest is part of the wilderness between the Daintree River and the Bloom Field in North Queensland, Australia. There remain a, at making of this book only 296,000 acres of wet tropical rainforest wilderness that meet the ocean waters of the Great Barrier Reef. Small as it is, this is the largest pristine area of rainforest left in Australia. The artist who made extensive field trips to the Daintree Wilderness to research and collect materials. These relief colleges, collages are constructed from multitude of materials, including modeling clay, papers, textured materials, preserved natural materials and paints. The collages are mostly the same size as the reproduction 